We are waiting for the train to go to the central station and from there we are going to go to the Moku Museum. We are going into the Moku Museum. I'm not sure if we can take a video. We are already like half an hour late. We'll see if we can get in. Amsterdam has no shortage of museums. That's one of the things that you will get to know about Amsterdam when you go and visit there. We decided to go to Moko Museum because I wanted to see more of a modern and contemporary art and street style rather than the traditional pictures and historical stuff that you see which I have been to in the previous ones. So when we got an opportunity to visit Moko Museum, I was like, let's go there and check that. Part of the museum was these lights these were really amazing you can walk around and you feel like you are in a completely different world these are the digital immersive light exhibitions i think and they are really so pretty small room but it's got this mirrored tiles that makes the room look bigger it's a little bit of cramped when we went in there because it was raining so there's a lot of people inside the museum but we thoroughly enjoyed this bit, the music, the lights and everything. It was something that I was really excited to see as well. When you type in Moko Museum, you see this and there's another digital art that always comes up in the photos and videos. So I was pretty excited to see all this. Hey. <laughs> This was another room where there was a big screen and keep changing the pattern. I know there's a name for it but I can't pronounce it so I'm not going to say it. But you get what I mean. The one that you look through in the eyes and you keep changing into different patterns. So this was that one. Then this is the last bit which is the Moko garden. And we exit. This is the famous Rijks Museum over there, and this is the Moko Museum, which we just been in. 
This is the park and that's the Van Gogh Museum over there. Wango, Wango. I think it's Van Gogh. And coffee. I don't know, it might be the naming how they say it would be different. Now, we are going to go to the street market and to walk around. That is one museum. That is the Van Gogh Museum. And that is the Moko Museum. And that is the Rijks Museum. So if you come around this corner to the Rijks Museum, you get all the museums around you. And the park then we're going to the Albert something I'll put down the name down somewhere We walked around the street market and it was really 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 nice. There was a lot of souvenir shops and a lot of street food. One of the things that we really wanted to try was the fresh stroop waffles which is a really thin waffles with caramel in the middle. That is a classic one and it was a really nice. I think that was like 3 euros for that. Then we also had the kiplings which is a fish niblet things with the tartar sauce which was really amazing. Then we went to Benny's and tried the spicy chicken burger bun thing as well which was also recommended. After walking around the street market we decided to come back to the apartment and rest up for a bit and then head back out again for our canal cruise. That's the ferry we took, so it goes from back of Amsterdam Central Station to all the way down here because our canal cruise is going to start from somewhere here. So we're going to find the place now. But this is a, the other side. This side, if you take accommodation, this side will be cheaper, and the ferry is free as well. So you're taking back and forth. I think it's 24 hour service as well. And you got Adam's Lookout, which is that building over there. We're sitting on this a really, really, really high chair. Don't ask me how I got on it, but we did. Just killing some time before we go and find our spot where they're going to pick us up from. This is a really nice view. Before, wow, my life I We're going to give a view. I don't think you can, we can hear it probably. I don't think I come to let you. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. So we're just going to talk a little bit about how was our day today before we go on the cruise. I think after cruise we're just going to head back home, cook some dinner and then get to bed. So today we had our Mokom Museum. What do you think of that? It's okay. It kills time. But we just are so into art that finish in just 35 minutes. I like the Mokom Museum more than a normal museum because it's more like a modern art and contemporary so you can just walk around and read like quotes and like uh, writings by other people so i enjoyed a bit more than marshall did 
uh, we finished quite early than we expected anyway after that we walked around the market which i'll put down on the side the market was really nice it was a very long market we weren't expecting it to be that long it was a very long market and it's very windy here if you can't hear anything i will voice over it after market we went shopping just for a few shopping we went food shopping and after that we went back home for a quick two seconds of break more like 10 minutes break and then dropped off all the stuff and got our jackets changed our shoes changed our shoes no i mean not his mine um, changed our shoes changed my shoes <laughs> and then we got back to this place where we are going to go our canal trip this is our last book thing on this trip so after this tomorrow is a completely free day we haven't got nothing planned it's going to be a very chilled calm day we can just walk around shops shopping all the kind of stuff out of all the activities that we booked canal cruise was one of the best that i personally enjoyed if you don't do anything else on amsterdam please go on a canal cruise the commentary was really funny and informative at the same time i've had a little bit of the glimpse of the commentary and the scenic route that we got Uh, to the right, uh, the round building is the opera, the square part is the town hall. The town hall, we say start as start as an opera makes together stopera. Not everybody loves it when you open it here, that's why they call it stop the stopera, stopera. With small engines on the ground floor and they uh, drill hollow pipes in it like they uh, drill for oil. Oil or pipes in it, and then they put concrete in, and then you have a new foundation. That's the way it works. Victor Kaiser, who is buried inside the church. Well, to the left there is the southern church, and there, that view that you can see there with the uh, with the bridge in front. That view can you can see it on the painting on the French Impressionist Claude Monet. And they, I think, they are loaded now. So 15% of your money that way. Next to it, Conservatorium, Music Academy of Amsterdam. I think Brian is going there when he is getting a, a little bit older. And next to it, OBA, Openbaar Offentlijke Bibliotheek van Amsterdam, Public Library of Amsterdam. Uh, uh, National Museum, the Rijksmuseum and uh, the Cent Central Railway Station, they are that similar. That sometimes are people waiting for the train in front of the National Museum. These people have a special name. <laughs> Tourists. <laughs> Go over the edge, you can uh, you can shout and after it's pan en in Francais, ook Olympia en Espanol. You can go on a swing there, especially for swingers. <laughs> Love my job. This was end of our day three. After this, we headed back home and rested for a bit. This is the free ferry which goes from Amsterdam Central Station to the Adam Lookout area. So if you're staying there, this is completely free. You can just hop in and they will drop you off and you just have to check the timings as well. But please do go on it just for a ride. Literally walking is our last full day here. So we are going to explore the area near us and then we're going to go to a flea market possibly and then do a last minute of sh last minute shopping possibly if we get time as well and then we're going to head back to our apartment a bit earlier than last few days because we've got to pack and then we're leaving early tomorrow morning and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe.
if you buy plastic glass or can type of drinks from any supermarket you will be charged a vat for it what you can do is you can take it to these recycling boxes and scan them and you will get a voucher for the tax they have taken on the bill we have used this and we got 90 cents back to buy something just discovered something so how does the recycling system works you buy a bottle whatever kind of bottle you buy you have 15 pence or 25 pence you have a charge for a plastic bottle so mm -hmm. water bottle and plastic medicaning you have a charge you recycle it, scan it, you'll get the money back. So, you get 90 cents. You get extra cash for the coffee. You need to have that little recycling sign in order to go through that machine. So, I thought I'll take a little video so you can see what it looks like. Also, this is one of the favorite drinks that we had so far when we were there, which is a green tea and mango chamomile infused iced tea. You have to twist it for the water. This is the view from the Nemo Museum. It's free to come to the rooftop. It has an opening and closing time. Make sure you check that out, but you get like a 360 view of the Amsterdam city and a lot of activities for the kids as well. This is an interactive one, there's a water thing which I showed you before as well. And you can sit down here, have a picnic, have your drinks and relax. The one with the boat, that's also a Maritime museum. More museum? Maritime museum. Oh, marine time. Maritime. <laughs> marine biology or something like that. I think it's called <laughs> maritime. So like marine or no little low. This is quite loud and peaceful at the same time. I think it would be better to come here in the morning or in the afternoon so you can see the sunset. Oh, the sunrise. I don't think that's open that early. Anyway, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. I would say. I wish we had more of these things. Like I think it's. I think we have Sky Garden again. You have to book tickets for it. But I wish we had more of these things. Like which is free. You can just walk around, sit and enjoy food. Or would have been really good if we had similar opportunities like that in anywhere where publicly can sit down and spend some time. Oi, oi, oi. Say what? Apparently it says it says on there. It says it says. 
What? It says it on there, Maritime. Maritime. Like, what? It's Marine time. It's not Marine time. Are those going to be Marine Museum with fish it and stuff? Marine. Yeah, but it's for ships, not for fish. It's a ship museum, guys. Yeah. Ship. A ship has been sailed. staying in I feel like I haven't talked for a bit so this morning we woke up we went to the New Year Museum which is a science museum so after on top of the science museum there's a rooftop where you can sit down and enjoy the view which we did after that we went around to the flea market and after that we just walked randomly walked around the shops which we clearly enjoyed but saying that there was like a lot of shops we went into but I didn't like anything much so I didn't end up buying anything but we just randomly walked around and enjoyed the shops like just that sit up town itself but I had some pancakes and uh, the savory pancakes to be honest I haven't had the I haven't had the time to have the typical Amsterdam small pancakes yet and then we had a smashed burger which is a random place we wanted to, I wanted to go to this cafe called Chun Cafe Chun but they said the kitchen was closed so there's no food just drink so when we were walking around we came across this smashed burger place which was really nice if you go in it's expensive but it was really nice I got the chicken burger on the menu it's all it says beef but there was a board on by the counter and it says chicken burger so I tried the chicken burger I really liked it it was really nice to be honest now we just got back into the apartment gonna rust up a bit have a shower pack everything up because tomorrow early morning we are flying out and then we'll add a little bit of viewpoint for myself for amsterdam um after visiting here 
I thought it's the antis because otherwise I will forget to add it in so may as well just do it now. So the one good thing I really liked about Amsterdam was how easy is it to get around the trams and the trains and how easy it was to get from the airport to the city centre. It was dead easy. You just need to go in. We used our normal contactless card to tap in um, and then tapped out just for the airport services and then we had a, another pass which we taken for three to four days. Four days I think we took which we activated the next day when we actually started our travel because you can't use that for the airport service so remember that I liked was how easy and I mean how easy it was just go, go to a shop and start speaking in English when I went to like and other different countries it was a bit more harder for people to understand what you're trying to say you have to like try to like Google Translate explain stuff explain stuff in like very very simple English hoping they would understand it but here most people do speak English uh, but most of the people do speak English which is very easy for tourists when you come around to ask for directions or going into a shop ordering a coffee most of the stuff is written in English and in Dutch as well so I really like that people are friendly um, and nice which is always a given bonus from the activities we did I really like the walking tour which is really nice. Ignore the big thunder sounds as Marshall coming down the stairs. I really like the walking tour. I like the Marco Museum. Amaze Museum halfway, I really liked it. The bottom, the other half, I was not a big fan because I thought they could have done it better for the money you paid to do the entrance fee. We did not go into any of the other famous museum like Van Gogh or the Anne Frank Museum or the Ryko Museum. Um, because we are like you know what I wanted to pick and choose what I want to see when I'm here but if you're up to it all the museums are really nearby it's in one close by and like it's nearly by the one of the parks so it will be easy for you to find if you go to one of the museums which I've included in the video the traveling was a uh, was hectic I think we had so much things packed in to see but I thought you know when people say oh let's go to there's nothing to do in Amsterdam there's a lot to do in Amsterdam guys so I would say if you want to see all the famous places I think three days would be enough but if you want to stretch it out I think four to five days or a week would be sufficient for you to take your time and take it slow and go around places flea market here is a lot uh, bigger than I thought because uh, most of the places I do see in, like in Italy and stuff I've been to flea market but I liked the one in here the most but the prices are still expensive one thing i did not like about here was the price everything is expensive and you go to a supermarket you're buying something it's expensive one tip i would give or trick i would give was if you're buying plastic bottles of water or juice or something they would take extra cents or a price for the plastic bottle itself even though the price say let's say one euro you would be paying one euro 15 because the 15 would be the uh, price of the plastic itself it varies from the bottle to bottle and it varies from cans if you're buying plastic bottles cans or glass bottles all of them has an extra cost i think no i know in which we didn't realize and we realized after being shopping here because what we did was most of the days rather than wasting so much money for buying food from outside we would have little snacks here and there then we'll come home to the apartment and we'll just cook something um, so when we went shopping we saw the bill and it was like extra 15 cents or 25 cents or something that was just taken when we googled it we understood it's kind of like an extra price for the glass plastic or cans that you buy for drinks so if you're buying any of that don't throw them away in the bin keep them because what you're going to do is you're going to go to the supermarket again next time when you go and there's a machine at the back i'll put down what the recycle thing's called it's a machine at the back and what you do is if you bought from that shop and then you can scan it and then you will get the money back that extra they took so we did that today and i think i had a little glimpse and which i will include in here as well 
where you can just put the bottle in they'll scan it and you'll get a voucher you can either hand the voucher to the counter and they give you the money back or you can use that to buy like food or something you wanted to do which we did it is a clever system but it's just like it's not convenient for any tourist who's coming and staying here because end of the day you're not gonna be like collecting plastic bottles because i did see random people at bus stops and tram stops taking this from the bins and i thought what's going on why is everybody like picking up plastics and cans and glass then i realized the machine you know, where you can put in then i saw this guy next to us who was using the machine because two machines and we went there and he made like 20 euros or 10 euros or something i think it was 20 euros and i saw him get the cash they come in big plastic bags and start like scanning in the machines it's a good way to be like uh, get your money back for the shopping you did or just don't buy plastic or cans or something so if you want like a let's say you want coca-cola and then you buy in a can well you're charging it that price is not included in the price you pay it's extra remember that my trick to that would be save them cans or plastic bottles when you go to the shopping again you can just there is I think it's only in certain shops as well so we went to shop in Alpatan I think the shop's called um, and they had recycling uh, the big Albertans we went into they had recycling so we just scan them in get the voucher use the voucher to buy something else like snacks or food or something like that you wanted to do so you can do that to save money if you wanted to we wanted just to try the recycling so it was kind of exciting for us we are like oh new method so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for watching this video so much and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i'll see you guys next time